Well, John Barrowman, otherwise known as Captain Jack Harkness out of Doctor Who, bless his American, Scottish, English socks. Seems he's been a naughty boy and likes getting his meat and two veg out and displaying it to everybody at any occasion. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's a Monday, thank you very much for joining me again. Uh, thank you very much to all the new subscribers that have joined us. If you haven't done so already, please join the party. We'd love to have you around. Well, it amazes me with these celebrities, what they think they can get away with behind closed doors, and even more so how they react when they're uh, rumbled or caught out or whatever you want to call it. You saw a week or two ago, I put a video on about Noel Clark and my thoughts about innocent until proven guilty and how the mainstream media will be all over him like a bloody fish out of water or whatever you want to call it. Well, in the days since I put that video up, Noel has turned round and effectively apologised and said, oh, I didn't realise that my actions would cause anybody any distress or harm, and I apologise. And to me, is he as much as admitting he did it? I don't know. I'll leave that for the courts and the uh, legal system to decide if it ever goes anywhere down that road. But what come out of that was uh, John Barrowman, is uh, guilty of some outrageous behaviour behind the scenes. It seems that he likes going around, getting his dick out wherever he pleases, waving it in the air, tapping it on tables and on the shoulder of actresses in the dressing room. Now, for any decent level of standard, this is completely unacceptable, and how somebody didn't take it off with a carving knife is beyond me. But did he get away with it because he's John Barrowman? You see, just for a reality check, this kind of thing has gone on for years at all levels of, you know, acting, shows or anything else. So I've said, you know, just briefly in a couple of videos before, I was in dramatics, but at a very amateur level. And I, I work with a couple of people that uh, have been in it for years and years and years going right back to the 60s and 70s and 80s, where you could get away with a hell of a lot more than you can now. And some of the stories I was told were absolutely outrageous, some of the behaviour. Very funny, but you wonder how they would get away with it. But the point is, John Barrowman has turned around and said, oh, I'm terribly sorry, my actions offended anybody. He's, he said he's a bit older and a bit wiser and a bit more reflective. We all are. When we get older, we calm down and we don't do the daft things we would have done in our 20s and 30s. But it still happened. And I don't think it's going to change anything. It will still happen again and again and again and again throughout the years. And we'll get this. We'll never bloody learn. It'll uh, come out in the wash. And, oh, I'm terribly sorry. I shouldn't have done that. All okay. Problem goes away. It won't stop. Anyway, let me know what you think. See you on the next one. Toodaloo.